Imagine you're in a supermarket and you want something healthy to drink, but you want something tasty too. Many of us might think, and with some good reason, that a naturally flavored drink like grape juice or orange juice would provide a beverage that's refreshing and good for you. But with the choices available to all of us in most supermarkets, we might be wrong. Why? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about on this episode of Spartan Health. I'm Dr. Nada. I created the Integrative Health Program at Mass General Hospital, and I'm the founder of Sage Tonic, an innovative and natural treatment toolbox. Welcome to this episode of Spartan Health. There are two assumptions many people make about their choices at the market based on labeling. Number one, that a natural choice is always a healthy choice. And two, that the guidelines and advice given on food labels are straightforward and relatively transparent. Well, it's not necessarily right. If you're concerned about eating healthy, and I know you are, but you're not sure how best to do it, you should get in the habit of reading food labels. And you really need to know how to read them. Now we address part one of how to read a food label, but there's way too much helpful info to squeeze into a single episode, so we're back with more. So why is it that natural things aren't always great and not automatically good for you? Well, for example, let's say you wanted orange juice as a healthy way to quench your thirst. There's some reasons to opt for water instead. Why is that? Well, too much sugar is bad for you, and you guys know that, and processed foods can be full of them. But some foods that advertise as natural foods can have some problems too. A typical eight ounce glass of pure orange juice can have around 21 grams of sugar. That's more than half the 36 grams recommended for men and the 25 grams for women. You may have read the packaging to be doubly sure and notice that nothing else was added to the juice. So it made it look like it was healthy and natural, which in moderation it can be. But be aware there's almost an entire daily dose of sugar for women in a single eight ounce glass. So you really have to know how to read your food labels to avoid fooling yourself. Now there's plenty other ways that food labels can undercount, deflect, or underemphasize the potential unhealthy ingredients or components that go into food and food products. Here are some tips to avoid some of those unhealthy traps. Number one, nutrition information is based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Your particular healthy caloric intake can vary significantly. Let's say you're preparing for an ultra or a beast, your caloric intake is probably gonna go up. But let's say you have some days where you're a bit more sedentary, you might need less. Fats can also sneak into food labels in some interesting ways. Looking out for artificial fats, like trans fats, and added sugars is only part of the healthy reading you need to do. If you're eating things that don't list a lot of beneficial nutrients like iron and fiber and vitamins, you might be consuming a lot of empty calories. Another one to be aware of are those sneaky trans fats. If the label says zero grams of trans fats, but they also list partially hydrogenated oils, that means there's less than half a gram, but it's still there, of trans fat. It's not a lot, but it adds up because if you're eating more than just that single serving, you can really pack on the trans fats. So in today's confusing food environment, you need to be educated to stay healthy. And one of the best ways to do that is to learn how to read a food label. Thanks for listening to Spartan Health. I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm here every Sunday as part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Spartan Up has new episodes almost every day of the week. We give you tips and information and tools to help you stay on track. We have interviews with inspiring high achievers every Tuesday with Joe and his team. And other days, we cover topics that help with mindset, athletics, and leadership. At Spartan, we're here for you. We're your partner in resilience training for mind, body, and spirit.